There's been more than 350 earthquakes since February at Mount St. Helens in Washington state. The impact is minimal, but the spike in seismic activity is raising some eyebrows across the scientific community. It's because scientists say this could mean the volcano is recharging. And those tremors deep underground help pump up the magma to collection chambers. And if those chambers fill, the pressure could eventually cause a volcanic eruption. Wes Thielen is a geophysicist at the Cascades Volcano Observatory and joins us live. Wes, thank you so much for your time. First, walk us through, for people who are not geophysicists, what does recharging actually mean? Yeah, that's a great question. So recharging is just the way that we talk about the a little little pieces of magma moving into the mid crustal magma chamber. So that's about five miles below the crater floor. And we're just talking about little pieces of magma coming up. It's all part of normal activity between eruptions at Mount St. Helens. Uh, that's what I just wanted to ask you. Is this normal? Why is this happening? Right. So we have a long history of study at Mount St. Helens. We know a lot about the history there. We know that it erupts a lot. Yeah. And so more so than all the other Cascade volcanoes. And so we expect this to be the volcano in the Cascades that erupts next. And part of that is just magma coming into the system and recharging ahead of the next eruption. Now, we've seen this type of activity before. We don't believe that it's that it's changing the volcanic hazard at the volcano significantly. It's just part of kind of what happens between eruptions. All right, so, so Wes, you say that this is the volcano within the Cascades that you believe could erupt next. So obvious question here, when could that happen? Ooh, that's a good question. I wish I had the answer for you. What we know <laughs> is that is that it it could be months, it could be years, uh, it could be decades. Now, we can look at other volcanoes around the world and we can look at this volcano and we know that it's that something's going to be coming up eventually, but we don't have a crystal ball that can tell us exactly when. And so we keep looking at the signs of what's happening there and seeing if there's something that, that might give us a clue as to what's going to happen in the near term. And Wes, you know, Mount St. Helens has certainly been studied. What could be the impact of a potential eruption if this does happen? Yeah, great question. The most likely type of eruption that we would see there is just a dome forming eruption like we saw in 2004 to 2008. And it is not the most likely scenario that we would see something like 1980. In fact, we've got lots of volcanoes that around the world that have similar behavior to Mount St. Helens. We have a long history in the geologic record at Mount St. Helens, and we know that the most likely type of eruption is something that's just going to build a dome and, and really impact the area right around the volcano, not something big and spectacular like we all have seen in pictures from 1980. Yeah, and as we look at, at this video, at these pictures, Wes, I mean, should the people of southwestern Washington state be concerned? Well, I am one of those people in southwestern <laughs> uh, Washington, and I am not concerned. Uh, this is really just something that's interesting. We know people are looking at the, the public data that we have available on our websites and our partners' websites, and we're just looking to give them a little bit of context in terms of what this means. And uh, people are interested. They're looking. And so we're trying to, to let them uh, give them a sense of what we think is going on under there. And, and again, reiterate that this isn't really a change in the volcanic hazard uh, in our assessment of the volcanic hazard up there. This is just sort of what happens between eruptions. And my last question for you, Wes, obviously you have an interest in this. You study this. This is your, your work. But what is it, do you think, about volcanoes uh, that really does fascinate so many people? Yeah, I think it's the power. I think I think that, um, you know, you look at these volcanoes and they're they're beautiful. They're a lot of times here in the Cascades, they're covered in glaciers. They're, you know, they're there's lots of, of myths and energy and, and things that people attribute to these volcanoes. And for the most part, they're just beautiful and quiet. And then all of a sudden, you get yeah. a big eruption like 
happened in Mount St. Helens in 1980. Absolutely. Well, we will see what happens. Wes, thanks for breaking all of that down. We certainly appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.